Welcome to this session of ways to maintain and improve your health and wellness during COVID-19 pandemic. Hi, this is Roxana Koshandish. I'm the operations manager at Brian Kattenbach's real estate team. And today with me here is Azad Razavi, natural health practitioner at Nutrition House Heartland and Heartland Natural Clinic in Mississauga. Azad, thanks for being with me today. Uh, so in general, if somebody asks you in your expert opinion, what can I do to improve my overall health? What would you say to that? Hi, Roxana. Hello, everybody. Um, to answer your question, let me share with you the new theory of disease. Um, do you have my slides, yes, Roxana? Yes, I see it. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So nowadays they are talking about the root cause of many different diseases. Okay, so there are so many diseases, like if you want to talk about, like uh, from arthritis to autoimmune to something scary like cancer, any kind of neuro neurological disease, anything related to lung, Parkinson, Alzheimer. So when we look at that, all of those scary names, now we are talking about one thing that is the root cause, can be the root cause of many of those uh, different sickness. And uh, that one is inflammation. So inflammation, we can talk about that in two different uh, levels. Acute inflammation, like when you hit you somewhere and you get the bruise or you hit your feet somewhere or you cut yourself and you get uh, red and then you will have like the bleeding and all of those things. And then we have the chronic inflammation. So here is the different kind of inflammation. Uh, with acute inflammation, as I said, like a joint pain, tonsillitis, when you start having your sore throat, um, any kind of uh, bowel inflammation can be part of the acute inflammation, headache and body pain. This kind of inflammation is fine. We need it for the immune system, for the body to start working and healing itself. Mm -hmm. But the problem is when this kind of inflammation doesn't recover and it goes into chronic inflammation, something we're going to deal with that, with that years and years and years. So like arthritis, arthrosclerosis, um, colitis, IBS, you name it, uh, different um, like a rheumatoid arthritis, joint disease and skin disease like uh, eczema or even uh, autoimmune disease like psoriasis and stuff like uh, we can go back and then find the root in inflammation in our system. Here is another slide showing different kind of uh, inflammation. So I'm gonna pass by all of those different kind of disease. But if you can see here, like many of the familiar names are again, root back to inflammation. Like you, you hear people like they have allergy to food, they are sensitive to food. Again, celiac and celiac is inflammation in the digestive system. Like you have people like they are uh, suffering from asthma. That is another kind of inflammation. Uh, bone disease, like uh, I understand that people are talking about like malnutrition and being deficient, but again, it can go back to inflammation, right? Mm -hmm. Um, heart disease, diabetic, like a, there are a, a lot of new research showing that uh, um, diabetic type 2 can go back again to inflammation. Interesting. Yeah. Even uh, depression hmm. and also the cancer, like uh, there's a lot of uh, new research coming up that the root cause of inflammation, uh, root cause of cancer always start from inflammation in some levels. There are, these are the early signs of uh, inflammation. So uh, like, let's say uh, you have uh, more of the, the sugar level goes up, you will have uh, some kind of gas, bloating, constipation, diarrhea in your digestive system. You feel fatigue, tired all the time. Brain fog can be part of that. Uh, some kind of uh, skin problems. Um, um, 
different kind of uh, uh, depression, anxiety. And uh, if you want, you can uh, check it uh, in your um, blood test. You can ask your doctor to go for C-reactive proteins and uh, interleukins and uh, HbA1c. That one specifically shows the chronic consumption of sugar. So it's early diabetic, you can see it in HbA1c. But what cause all of these inflammation in our system or inflammatory response? Here. Obesity. We are, I'm going to go back. You hear me all the time talking about sugar, 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 sugar. There you go. Obesity. Chronic stress. It increased the inflammatory response. Smoking, alcohol, those kind of things. Those are the main causes of inflammation. Um, and the, these are the things you can do to reduce the inflammation in general. And you do it, you see the difference like in few weeks. I have patients that I cut them off the sugar with dairy, gluten, and the uh, inflammation, like let's say joint pain goes down, or if they have a depression kind of symptoms, it goes down. And then as soon as like they have a chocolate cake, next day you feel, they feel it. Wow, so if you quick. go that quick, yeah. Wow. So limit your sugar intake, in, uh, your trans fat, fried food and stuff, try to avoid them. There uh, are a lot of people talking about omegas. Mm -hmm. I want you to take only omega-3, not omega-6, not omega-9. We have a lot of omega-6 in North American diet, and too much of omega-6 can increase inflammation. But if you take just the omega-3, like let's say fish oil, mm -hmm. and with no omega-6, your body is able to produce as much as omega-6 and omega-9 that it needs. Okay. So when you pick your omega, just go for the omega-3, simple. So what are the natural foods that have omega-6? Is there something that we need to... Like a nut, uh, I will show you in the next slide. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah uh, fish, nuts, and those things, they are. Okay. And uh, a lot of spices, like you, I'm going to talk about the turmeric, but turmeric, gingers, rosemary, those are all different spices that we have that they are working as an anti-inflammatory. Anti okay. And uh, for new moms, try to breastfeed as much as you can because it helps your kids against inflammation. So here it is. These are the food that are high in omega. The good omega. Good omega. Okay. <laughs> now I want to talk, just touch base on the, some of the um, supplements and how I just approach when I see somebody has um, inflammation. The first thing I usually do, I go with the gut therapy. We, the belief is uh, like everything starts from your gut, your digestive system. So avoiding the bad food, giving people like what food they can eat, probiotic, make sure that there is no leaky gut and stuff. So the first thing I do is I treat the gut. There are some herbs like turmeric, ginger, and boswellia. Those are natural anti-inflammatory. They reduce the inflammation. Uh, Omega-3, if somebody has like a very high amount of inflammation, I will go usually with high EPA of form of Omega-3. Again, Omega-3 itself has two different components, EPA and DHA. EPA, I go for inflammation. DHA, I go for brain function. Uh, you can go with different kind of antioxidant like uh, resveratrol that comes from the from the skin of uh, red grapes of the grapes and you can find it in some part into red wine and glutathione which is a fantastic antioxidant and there also I just have to make sure that there's no toxin in the body because like tox toxicity in the system increase inflammation. Mm -hmm. And then once I reduce the inflammation, then I can go for the next phase, that is the repair. Okay, and that's it. All right, great. So if somebody wants to get in contact with you and the type of uh, services that you provide to people, so mm -hmm. somebody can come in for a consultation with you then? 
They can tell you. Uh, right now, I'm not uh, getting any patients because of the corona right situation. situation. Like we are not getting any in-person consultation. But uh, I have many patients that uh, we are FaceTiming or we do the Zoom and uh, we take care of that, especially like uh, the follow-ups that uh, we have. We okay. go through that. Uh, but um, as over-the-counter advice, like you can always find me at a nutrition house in Heartland. Mm -hmm. The stores are still open, like 11 to 6 every day. They can stop by and we can start something until like everything gets settled and then we can go back to the normal life. Right, right. But the services that you offer, so you, then you do a Zoom consultation yes. with people then? Yeah, oh, we do okay. the virtual kind of consultation. Okay, great. So we're going to have your, your contact information, your Instagram, and your other contact information at the end of this sure. video so people can get in touch with you. Very good information. Thank you so much. Thank very, you. Very useful. I didn't think that information can cause like even skin diseases like eczema and things like that. So it's all related to the inflammation. Very good information. Yes. Thanks for your time today, Azadeh. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Stay healthy. Yes, and safe. Thank Bye. you. Bye.